Am I doing it? <laughs> oh, gracious. Someday I will uh, figure out this. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me for a live tea tasting, a little bit of tea news and, you know, some, some good times here. I don't know what it's like where you guys are, but we're in like a heat, like what's that called? Heat wave? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Karen. <laughs> good afternoon. We are like melting here and um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a lot. We do not have air conditioning. And um, I actually found a trick. Oh, hi, Jackie. Yes, put the kettle on. Make an iced tea though, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you have air conditioning. But uh, I have found a trick and I actually take an ice pack and I put it under my feet. <laughs> and that is helping. <laughs> oh, good morning, Erica. Oh, good. Going to start the kettle for your mouth? You. Excellent. And Karen says it's not as hot as it has been. I thought, I hope, I hope we are going to see a little bit of settling here uh, this evening. It's supposed to drop down. Oh, plus 40. Tori, that's a lot. Yeah, it's supposed to kind of settle down tonight. So I'm hoping to be able to like open the windows and like bring in some cool air. Good morning to you, Barbara. <laughs> it's so nice to see you both. Um, so today I am so excited. I have a couple little tidbits of tea news. I do kind of have to uh, work my way back up to <laughs> remembering to kind of jot things down as I see them so I can share them with everybody. And as always, if you have tea news that you want shared, just send me a message. I'm hoping that doing it this way is going to allow me to kind of have that balance. So previously it was taking me like 15 hours to do, you know, the uh, research and editing and the whole thing. It was actually taking me a long time to do tea news. So that's why I kind of had to take a break. It was just, it was a lot. So I, I hope that this is working. Good morning. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to see you guys pop on. I know Jeanette's having a nap. I wish that she was here to help uh, to moderate for me because sometimes I find it difficult to see the messages. So if I miss something, please forgive me. It's not that I mean to. It's just Oh, I have really poor eyes. I don't know about anybody else that wears glasses. If you wear glasses, you probably know that um, minus 11 is like really bad eyes. And that's that's mine. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you guys or not. Um, while we're waiting for a couple more people to join us before we dive into our tea and our tea news, I'll share a little story with you guys um, about when I was a little kid. Uh, I was actually, I went completely blind, like completely pitch black blind. Um, so I, <laughs> I value my vision hugely. Um, I was walking to the store with my brothers. I have two older brothers. One has since passed um, cancer. Um, but I still have my, the middle brother who's still older than me, Rick, <laughs> I, I still have him. Um, but when we were all little, we're almost five years apart, each of us. So yeah, nine years for Rob was my oldest brother. Um, anyways, we were going to the corner store to get candy and I, uh, this was when I lived in Ontario and the sidewalks were like, kind of like those squares, like they make a, 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 what would that be called? Like a, not a brick, but a big cement square piece and then another one and another one. So kind of like that, it wasn't like one continuous thing and they were kind of like off kilter and I um, caught my toe and I went falling forward and I fell, no, Karen, not cobblestone, not the little ones, like those giant, like two feet by two feet, almost like giant ceiling tiles, but on the, on the floor. I fell forward and I actually smashed my head so hard. Um, the eye doctor said that I would have actually shook my brain because the part that controls the vision, I guess, is in the back. And I went completely black or completely like pitch black, like could not see a thing, like nothing. Um, my spectacular, very special brothers. I mean, to be fair, they were only kids as well. They still had candy on their mind. <laughs> 
So <laughs> we continued to the corner store. They picked me up and they were just like, I think it was probably like, um, I was like five or six and off to the corner store we went, but they were worried that my being blind was going to impact them actually being able to get candy. So they were like, you stay outside and hug this telephone pole. So they had me stand outside hugging a telephone pole. I was uh, completely blind. <laughs> and that was in um, Oshawa, Ontario when we lived there. And it's a funny story now because I do have my vision back. Uh, the next day my vision came back, but it was extremely scary for me. And it's still something that like, uh, even though my eyesight is extremely poor, like minus 11, I think is really not the greatest eyesight. Um, I still really value what vision I have. So yeah, it's something that I can just laugh about now because, you know, my vision did come back. But like I said, I do appreciate my vision and man anybody that has brothers I think you know like they can just whew. <laughs> if you grew up with brothers I feel like you you know you're just you're just a little bit a little bit I don't know tougher <laughs> like <laughs> you just gotta roll with the punches I have so many more stories I could tell you about my brothers like so sweet and I love them but man oh man Oh, all right, today we are trying ah, the Silk Tico on the rocks. I am so excited about this. I prepared it and brewed it up three different ways for us to try today. We're probably not going to have too long of a session today um, because I am like, it's super hot here. So you'll probably see like sweat dripping soon and that's not fun times. Uh, Tanya says, I fell down a few steps once and my brother first laughed for a few minutes before he picked me back up. Yeah, I remember I fell down the stairs at home one time and I knocked the wind out of me and I was gasping for air. And my brother, uh, Rick, he's, <laughs> if you ever meet him, oh my gracious, he started tickling me because that was his thing. He's like five years older than me. So it was always like, you know, tickle Jan and make her laugh so nobody gets in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia says, I have two older brothers. The oldest pushed me down a flight of stairs. Oh, gracious. Oh, all these. Yeah. Brothers are so special. <laughs> all right. The Silk Tico on the rocks. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce certain things. You guys know that. So just, uh, just bear with me here. I am going to read a little bit on the back, though, because it does talk about like kind of like three different ways to enjoy it. So she says to enjoy at any temperature, quickly steep for just 30 to 40 seconds. So I've done that. And that is this one. And then she says um, to enjoy with milk and or sugar steep for two minutes, which I have also done. I'll try to pick this up without spilling it. I made it iced because it's so hot. And then she says to make a bold drink, steep for three to four minutes. And she says you can elevate it with milk or sugar or a little splash of something else. I just left it on the rocks. So we'll see how that goes. Oops. So I did bring up the tea so that you guys could see it. And I'll show you the dry stuff too. Um, dive into that. It smells like it smells so good, but it almost reminds me of like a bourbon or something. Let's see if I can show you. Okay. <laughs> so here it is. So you can see the big pieces of uh, the oolong there. So let's read the ingredients. Um, okay, so this one here is black tea, dark pearl oolong. There's another uh, oolong, a Thai. I can't, I'm really bad at pronouncing things. I should, I should try harder. Sliced vanilla beans from Madagascar, natural vanilla flavors, and safflowers. So it, it really, it smells really lovely. So, and I wanted to show you too. Look how big everything is. Can you guys see that? So big. Okay. 
This I got from my tea thoughts, one of my tea thoughts boxes. So exciting. All right, let's try the first one. So this is the one that was steeped just for the, um, I think I did, I think it says 30 to 40. I did the middle, 30 to 40, so I did 34 seconds. I think I would have liked this one warm. It has since cooled down a bit um, and it's a little bit light. And that might've been that I just didn't use maybe enough tea, but it is still, it's lovely. Oh, thank you. Yes, I uh, painted my nails last night. I do that when I try to make myself feel better. I don't know about you guys, but it does make myself feel better. <laughs> so this is the one that we steeped for two minutes and I added a rock sugar and some oat milk and ice. My ice is quickly melting. Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, yes. Um, you're getting like the vanilla and stuff, but there's another layer there that I don't know. It might be, um, I was eating Whoppers this afternoon, so that probably doesn't help things. So the oolong. Oh, you're painting yours, excellent. All right, we have one more to try, uh, but I wanted to chat with you guys a bit about how they come. So these are the 25 gram ones, and this is the Eternal Summer Pack that we got, and we unboxed that together. Um, and I love that she's now doing, or she's currently doing, free worldwide, I think it's worldwide, should double check that, shipping, uh, with no minimum, so that's great. So this one here is $45 US for these four teas. And then she also has this here pack which the duplicate in them is the golden hour. So this here is my favorite from her, the desert rose, so good. And I think that one's in the $30 range, like 30, hmm, I, I, I'm, hmm, I can't remember. <laughs> oh. Erica, I'm not, I, I know exactly what tea you're talking about. I can't pronounce that either. <laughs> I see. Oh, Jackie, I'm so glad you you got both. Yes, you guys should should definitely try them out. So um, yeah, so that is special. While Karen is here, I wanted to say thank you so much, Karen. I wanted to show everybody. Um, Karen was so nice and she sent Jeanette and I mugs. Look at that with the cat. Life is better with cats. So adorable. Thank you so much, Karen. That is so sweet of you. Definitely a good pick me up. And these cute little, um, what are these called? Spoons. Oh, gracious. <laughs> Their little paws, so cute. I also wanted to show you how they came in this lovely bag, reusable bag. Isn't that so cute? A little uh, note on it, so sweet. Thank you so much, Karen. So, so nice of you. <clears throat> um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys too that yesterday I was... <laughs> It was so nice. I did it the tea tasting with the tea can. Remember, we unboxed this if you guys were, were with me for that. Uh, and this is the um, exploration kit. And um, yeah, it's so fun. And I actually did a little bit of a video. So hopefully you'll see that come out this week. So. So a little bit of tea news. Um, tea Thoughts, Nazanin, our friend over at uh, Tea Thoughts, is having her fall shop update, and it's going to be August 27th. So she's going to have the uh, Countdown to Fall box. Oh, so excited about that. Uh, the countdowns are always so exciting. Like I said, I, I have so many wonderful things from the countdown, as well as she is releasing uh, some new fall things that you might want to check out. I wanted to share with you guys what I love the most from Tea Thoughts. 
this here necklace i just love it so nazanin designed this here and that is the tea plant so pretty so pretty and i i love this and on the back it's inscribed tea thoughts it's just i really it's my favorite piece i wear it quite often to work so and I think I saw that there's going to be like matcha stud earrings and tea leaf earrings and stuff. So I'm so excited about that. I hope you guys will go check that out. Um, for tea sales that I noticed that are happening, kind of very short notice for you guys. But uh, today and it ends tomorrow at midnight, which would be August 16th if you're watching this on the replay. And Kuspi Tea is having a 20% off sale on their herbal tea tins. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but last, uh, for 2020, I did the um, Vlogmas, of course, and I had Kuspi Tea, and I loved some of them so much that Jeanette got me some of the tin cans for uh, Christmas. It was so nice to be able to continue enjoying that. Um, even in the wintertime, Jeanette and I usually still have, like, um iced tea uh every day it's kind of like mid-morning i guess so yes um oh here's something that was fun um we already chatted about the burn and blend tea advent that is being released when it, the date and stuff i already mentioned that to you guys but uh geek and tea their 12 days of tea countdown the pre pre-orders are actually open right now and you can get it for an early bird pricing of 55 dollars i will leave all the links down below uh once we finish this i'll come back in and kind of try to capture everything and leave any links for you. So if you're watching on the replay, you can just uh, grab the links down below. And if you're here live, I so appreciate you guys hanging out with me. So thank you. And I believe Sipology's Tea Advent is being released tomorrow as well, I think. I'm, ugh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I heard a little birdie tell me that there's like six new teas that are being released with that one. So yeah. All right. Oh, there was one thing that I ran across because I'm like obsessively looking at tea advance. I don't know about you guys. I'm not going to probably do quite as many as I did last year for Vlogmas. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Um, so I might get some to do like full complete unboxings and then do Vlogmas with certain ones. So if you guys want to see certain ones, please let me know. I would love to be able to see if I can snag them and include that. There is, I ran into it on the internet and I will find the link and I, I will put it in the description for you. There is actually a scone advent calendar. Now I want to know, what do you guys think about that? Like, is that, is that just the best thing ever? Cause I'm kind of like, Ooh, that, that sounds delightful. I could have like a different scone every morning as an advent. Like that's like, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> I think that the only thing better would be like, you know, if somebody came into my house and like baked me one every morning, that would be so fun. So I think that was uh, Erica's Tea Room is doing the scone advent calendar yeah Jackie <laughs> scone advent calendar what do you guys think would you guys would you guys get that do you think it's like too much or is it like the perfect like pairing I almost think it's like the perfect pairing so yeah all right let's dive into the third one yeah Ooh, paired with jams. That's right. One of my friends told me that uh, there's that, what is that jam? It's like, it starts with mo mon bo bonami, bonami? Bon no, is that like a cleaner? There's like a jam that, that sounds, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like little jams that you can get for Advent and the jam box. No, I don't think that was, that's it. Bon May. I can't pronounce that. Yes. 
Yes, you did tell me about that. Yes, Victoria, thank you. Um, so yeah, I think I think I need to maybe get that one this year. That would be super fun. And maybe maybe the scone one. Oh, scone and jam box. Oh gracious, you guys have such wonderful ideas. I love it. All right, this is the third way. So this one here, this is the the Silk Tea Co. if you're just joining in and it's on the rocks. This is the one that we steeped for three to four minutes. So we did for about three and a half minutes for this one. And it's just black on the rocks. Mm. That is really good. So she said, uh, on, on the back, I think it talks about like putting like one large, like really pretty ice cube in there. Unfortunately, I don't have that. <laughs> so I had to make do with what I had, which is like little ice cubes. But yeah, this is very enjoyable. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite blend from her. I find that uh, all of her blends are very good. Like they're just so delightful. And I feel like there's like one that's gonna be like, draws you in something different for everybody type thing. They're like, you can't, I, I don't think you can go wrong. They're, she calls them premium loose leaf. And I would say for sure, yes. <laughs> so I still have out of the new ones, I still have the Zen and Tonic to try and in the nude. So I'm excited to try those. So yes. But the rest of them I have tried. I would say Desert Rose is absolutely my favorite from her. It was so wonderful. So. Oh, I also wanted to mention uh, when we did the unboxing the last time, and remember I unboxed uh, the teacup that I got from the teacup attic. Attic is in upstairs. I find that word so hard to say. Um, they actually messaged me and they were like, um, there was extra things in that box. Did you forget? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't, I guess I thought the rest of it was like stuffing, but there was two extra prizes. Ooh, reach here. This was one of them that they included and it's gold, which is perfect because it matches um, the gold rim on my Ainsley teacup. So that's so fun. So a nice little strainer when you're using your uh, teapots, so fun. They really like, they're so good. Like I was very impressed. Like they actually reached out to me before, before mailing it to, to confirm my address and stuff. So it was great that way. And they also sent candies, which as you can tell are half gone because I like, I'm a sucker for butterscotch. So this is butterscotch candy and it says milk and butter and it is so good. There is something about these candies that have the white powder on them. Oh, man, those are good. So yummy. So yeah, this little metal tin, so cute. So that was so nice of them. And if you remember, there was also like little cookies and like treats and stuff like that in there. So, you know, it, and their pricing also, it includes free shipping. And I know that that's free shipping in the US and Canada. I'm not quite sure where else that goes as well. So yeah, that is like, if you're looking for a teacup or they have other teaware there too. So, so good. So what is everybody drinking? Are you guys going to share with me and tell me, or am I just going to sit here and drink by myself? Drink tea. This is just tea. <laughs> mm. So yummy. Wedding cookies, shortbread and scones are your weakness, Erica. Yes. Oh, I agree. Echinacea Shield. Oh, Tori, is that uh, David's Tea? Echinacea Shield. I'm trying to remember. Pumpkin Chai, Thailand, Thailand Black. Very nice, Jackie. Cold Brew Shen Pu'er from David's Tea. Nice, Antonia. So nice. Is there a UK Tulu? I can't pronounce that. Alternative to making your own tea. Oh, good question. I will see if I can find that out for you. Yeah. Um, UK alternative. 
So you want to be able to uh, do some tea blending of your own, kind of create your own mix. Um, I know that right now, um, what's the big one? Fortnum and Mason is having kind of like a blend your own tea, but um, I found that when I went in to actually look at that, it wasn't completely uh, like, I don't know, like there was something, there was something about it. Like I just felt like they needed more choices, which probably would have been very difficult for them. But uh, Fortnum and Mason's does have some sort of like blending your own. But I think what was really sweet was that you would get like your name on the tin or whatever name you want it to put on the tin. And it would be your host blend type thing, which was really cute. Um, cold brew tea, peach and mango from Tea Pigs. Very nice, Karen. That's a nice one. Yes, from David's Tea. Thank you, Tori. I, I sometimes have little memories of things, but most of the time, like, I don't, I don't remember much. Maybe it's from my brothers. <laughs> Technino, I can't, I'm, hazelnut with cream and monk fruit, half a tea. Oh, that sounds interesting, Barbara. Yeah. Doozy girl. That's a good one. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, I think that with this heat and I am quickly melting and fading away here, I am going to say thank you so much for joining me. If you could do me a favor, if you haven't already, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up to help out my channel. I so appreciate it. Um, yes, the rose and lychee is glorious from Tea Pigs, but yeah, they don't have much of a selection, do they, Karen? So... Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am going to let you go. Have an enjoyable afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are watching this. Strawberry kiwi cold brew. Nice, Cynthia from Hardy and Sons. I love it. Hi and bye, Jan. Steve, so nice to see you. <laughs> uh, and if you're watching on the replay, please leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. It's like brightens my day and I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. Goodbye.